انسپیکٹر خالد محمود تاریخ میں وہ پہلے فرد ہیں جو معذور افراد کے کوٹا کے تحت پاکستان رینجرز پنجاب بھرتی کیے گئے آپ نے چار ماسٹر ڈگریاں حاصل کی اور دو ہزار سترہ میں ایم فل اپلائڈ لنگویسٹک کی تکمیل کی ہے خدمات عامہ کے شعبے میں آپ کی شاندار کارکردگی کے اطراف میں صدر اسلامی جمہور پاکستان نے انسپیکٹر خالد محمود کو تمغہ امتیاز کا احساس عطا کیا السلام علیکم آئی ایم خالد محمود انسپیکٹر پاکستان رینجرس پنجاب اینڈ وائس پریزیڈنٹ یو ایم ٹی المنائی ایسوسی ایشن آئی فیل ایکسٹریملی آنرڈ ٹو شیئر ود دا یو ایم ٹی کمیونٹی اینڈ دا پاکستانی نیشن دیٹ بائی دا گریس آف اللہ عالمی ٹی پریزیڈنٹ اسلامک ریپبلک آف پاکستان ہیز کنفرڈ اپون می ون آف دا ہائیسٹ سول ایوارڈس دیٹ از تمگا امتیاز آن سیونتھ آف سپٹمبر in a grand investiture ceremony at Evani Sadr Islamabad. Although it's a great achievement at my part, but I can't uh, forget my family, my wife, my mother, my father, my colleagues, my teachers, my seniors, and even my juniors who shared their help, who helped me a lot at every stage of life so that I could be able to reach at this very highest forum. As far as inspiration is concerned, nothing can be achieved without inspiration. And being human being, I'm also inspired by so many people, so many personalities. Hazrat Muhammad, the Prophet, peace be upon him, is the first inspiration being Muslim we people have. If I believe on my philosophy that inspiration floods inside me, And, and, and I always try to inspire others to touch the zenith of success by not surrendering against any worldly power. Moving on wheelchair with grace and smile, I have never felt any kind of limitation in my body or in my mind. So this take me along to reach at this level decades and decades it's not an overnight achievement as far as umt is concerned i joined umt in 2015 for my english mphil english applied linguistics program i feel honored to share with you people that i have the honor to receive my mphil degree in 2017 from the worthy hands of the visionary leader and mentor dr hasan soheb murad Dr. Shaban, the chairperson of the English department and faculty, inculcated a culture of research and ins and outs of the world level research, scholarly thoughts that lead me to Istanbul, Turkey in 2018, where I was declared the best research presenter among scholars from all over the world. Since 2015, I have never been away from the UMT and currently I'm doing as Vice President UMT Alumni Association uh, since February 2018. So UMT is now runs in my blood and I am for UMT and I feel more honored uh, to share with you that this is the UMT platform that exposed me to the world, to the international forum, that I could be able to gather the achievement, to gather the outstanding performance and gather the honor for this alma mater. Basically, I'm from Pakistan Rangers Punjab and having a long meritorious professional background, which is based on discipline, I learned a lot throughout my life. I have a philosophy that we should try to be part of 1%, not of 99%. And for this, we have to sacrifice. We have to strive hard. We have to work hard. And we have to remain ahead of the deadlines. This is what I have done 
in my whole life. I would urge to the UMT alumni community to join hands with us, to join hands with the alumni association, with the office of alumni relations and the young and vibrant leader Ibrahim Hassan Murad who is working for the promotion of the education in the country and especially in UMT. The current students are our future. The current students are the leaders. The current students are the scientists and the doctors and the engineers. I would just say to you people that never think about your limitations. Always showcase your abilities. Always showcase your achievements and never ever showcase your disabilities or your limitations. And the sky is limit for you and you can achieve whatever you want. I dedicate uh, this prestigious uh, civil award to the whole Pakistani nation and I have, uh, I have promising with you that I will work for the promotion of the genuine research and education in the country, especially for the people with special needs and the soft gender. Because this soft gender has a very pivotal role in my success. The first one is my mother who groomed me to fight against the disability and remain with dignity and pride in the society. And then came my wife who is coming all along with me for more than one decade or so and she is helping me a lot. So we have, we have to honor uh, this very graceful gender because a woman makes the nation, a woman creates the nation and a woman trains the nation. Thank you very much.